Hi, I'm Chloe Sweda. I'm here at the River Bluff Trail on the Norris Dam Reservation and I've been given an extraordinary opportunity to shadow a natural resources representative for TVA, Brian Ross, who works to protect and maintain these natural areas. Today he's going to take us on a wildflower walk. Let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Brian Ross. I work with Natural Resource Management with the Tennessee Valley Authority. We're here today at the River Bluff Trail on uh, Norris Reservoir. It's a 3.2 mile long trail and uh, we're here today for the wildflowers. Uh, normally we would be here in person doing our wildflower hikes. We do them every the last uh, Saturday in uh, March and the first Saturday in April every year. This year would have been the 38th annual wildflower walks at River Bluff. But due to COVID, uh, we are going to change it up this year and do virtual wildflower walks. We're gonna bring the flowers to you. We have a, a great diversity of wildflowers here and it, it's due a lot to the, um, to the aspect, the north, northeast aspect, the rich soils, and also the cool waters coming off of the, the Clinch River coming out from the Norris Dam. So, so the wildflowers that we're gonna see today are uh, spring ephemerals, uh, meaning they they come up for a few weeks and then they're gone. You know, and here in about a month or so, you you won't even know that a lot of them were there. So we're gonna we're gonna be looking at those today. And then um, if you do come out on the trails uh, at any TVA trails, we ask that you stay on the trail. Uh, use the zoom on your camera just so we don't uh, mess up the flowers that are out there. So here at the River Bluff Trail, most of the wildflowers that you're going to see right now are going to be on the lower trail. Um, but if you want to get a little bit more exercise, you can do the full 3.2 mile loop going up to the top and get some good views of the Clinch River and Norris Dam. So this one is called Pennywort. And uh, pennywort is often overlooked because it is in the leaf litter. It doesn't have a whole lot of chlorophyll. So, um, so it's easy to, uh, it doesn't have a real bright color, but it's, a, it's an easy one to overlook. So right here we have a uh, foam flower. And then also uh, we're kind of lucky because uh, was surprised. Uh, this is bloodroot right here. There's also another one right here. Bloodroot is one of the one of the earliest uh, ephemeral wildflowers to come out, and uh, usually it it's gone by now. For it, it comes up and is gone really quick. So. So this is the uh, yellow trout lily and it gets its common name uh, from this spotted pattern on the leaves that looks like a, a, a trout and it's one of the most uh, abundant wildflowers out here on River Bluff. So this is spotted mandarin. This is southern red trillium.
This little plant is called Bishop's Cap. The plant is named uh, Bishop's Cap for the shape of the young seed pods which resemble the tall pointed hat with two peaks that is worn by bishops. So, so this is May apple, um, and if you look underneath the foliage here, that's where your flower will be, and then the little May apple later on. This is purple facilia. And over here we have celadon poppy. This is Dutchman's Britches. It gets its name from, if you look at it, it looks like a pair of pants that's hung upside down on a clothesline. So this is called twin leaf and as you can see there's the two two leaves on here and then we've got a flower over here that's not come out yet and here we have some wild blue flocks Remember, please stay on the trail, pack out what you pack in, and please refrain from picking any wildflowers or removing any plants.